Hi, I'm Claire and this is Craig and right now we were supposed to be travelling around Australia and New Zealand in a camper van but since we had to cancel those plans we decided to buy our own van and have a go at self-converting it into a camper van. Neither of us have a huge amount of DIY experience and being in a wheelchair adds another challenge so it's going to be an interesting experience. At the end of the last episode we realised that our bed might not fit properly inside the van so in this episode we attempt to fix that problem by making some adjustments to the bed but first we put some carpet on the walls and begin to work on the roof. Today we are putting carpet on our wheel arches. We've done this one here, but we still have this other one to go. The carpet, in theory, is very easy to apply because it's very stretchy. Um, in practice, it's a little bit more difficult. So as you go along, you take some spray glue, spray it on the metal, spray it on the carpet, and then you've got to try and stretch the carpet into all the different contours of the van. Um, which is easier said than done because there are a lot of weird shapes that you have to try and mould around and you often end up with bits bunching or little folds in the carpet uh, which doesn't look good so it does take a lot longer than you think. So a lot of people actually put carpet completely all over their van, all over the walls, all over the ceiling, everything but we're not very keen on the carpet look, we might prefer the wood panels so we didn't go for that. However, we did find that the paint on the wheel arches kept getting scratched up, so we've decided to put carpet on the wheel arches only and not the rest of it. So we finished carpeting the wheel wells yesterday and now today we're going to carpet these pillars here. I know we said yesterday that we were only going to carpet the wheel arches and nothing else, but we've decided that we're also going to carpet the back pillars as well because they were getting scratched a bit. So for the same reason as the wheel arch, we're going to carpet them to protect the paintwork. We've got a dry day today. It's been raining for the last few weeks. So we're going to use this opportunity to paint our roof panels. These are from Custom Shop Designs again, which is the same place that we got the flooring and the roof panels from. But this time it is made from three millimeter fly, fly, ply, which is a bit thinner so that it can flex on the roof better. And we don't need the thickness to attach cupboards or stand on or anything. So we're gonna paint it now while we've got the chance. And then after we've painted it, we're gonna work out where the lights need to go. But first we need to sand it to get all of this with some sticky residue on it. We need to get that off and we need to make it a nice smooth surface. Now that the first coat has had a couple of hours to dry, we're going to put a second coat on now. We're using the same sea ice colour that we also used for the wall panels. Yesterday we took down the roof panels so now we've got the roof exposed so we can run the wiring through the roof and put some insulation in as well before we put it back up. So what Craig's doing right now is he's fitting some things called jack nuts, these metal things just here. We're going to use them instead of these horrible plastic clips which is what we used when we put the wall panels up. The plastic clips were really rubbish because the head just burred when you put the screwdriver into it and also we found on the wall panels that some of them have popped back out again. So what we've decided to do is replace all the plastic clips with these jack nuts and then some bolts. The jack nuts are quite interesting and this is what a jack nut looks like to start with. And then what you do is you put a bolt into the jack nut and then you use this special tool and it just compresses it down and then it looks like this. These things hold the nut in the wall and it provides a good connection to hold your wall on. It should be way better than these plastic clips. So Craig just squeezes it like this and then tightens the bolt up a little bit. Puts the tool back in again, squeezes it again and then we should have a nice solid connection. And we now have some screw holes in all of these holes in the van. Today we've got the unpleasant job of taking these wall panels off again, 
and putting them back on and then putting them back on again, which was not very fun at all last time. But the reason we're doing that is because these screws here that we've got to hold it in, these plastic things are completely rubbish. Some of them have, have popped out and we just really don't think they're going to hold when we try to put furniture attached it to the wall. We're just worried the wall would just come off. So what we're doing instead is we're going to put jack nuts in and then some metal bolts and that should hold it on much better. So we've still got a small amount of carpeting to do here down the side of this pillar by the window and that's what Claire's doing now. We finally got the wall panel back up with the bolts and the jack nuts on. It was a bit of an ordeal, we actually had to do it three times in the end. Fortunately, getting the bolts in was way easier than getting the plastic clips in because otherwise that would have been a nightmare. First time we missed one of the jack nuts, so we had to take the whole thing off again to put the jack nut in the hole that we missed. And then while we were taking the panel off to do that, some of the wall fell down in front. So we got half the screws in and then couldn't do the rest because of the wall. So we had to take it off again, re neaten up the wall. And third time lucky, it's up and it's looking pretty good, I think. We've decided on the layout that we're going to have in the van. So we're going to have the bed down here at the back, and then we're going to have the kitchen up at the front. So because of that, it meant that we had to do a little bit of editing of this bed to make it fit over the wheel arch. We've built our bed uh, that we got from van furniture, um, and we deliberately bought the low height bed um, because we're worried that when we put the mattress on the top, that's quite thick. And then the height of the two together, when we're sitting on it, we don't want to be hitting our head on the ceiling. So we've deliberately bought the low bed. The issue with this is in a transporter, the wheel arches are a bit too high. Um, so actually the bed kind of crashes with the wheel arch bit. So what we're doing now is we're just trimming off some of the bits which are hitting the wheel arch so that we can fit it more flush to the wall and give us a bit more space in the van. So Claire's just sawing off some of the bits which are sticking out now. So I'll show you now what we've done. So what we had to do is cut this piece here out of the back and then also cut a little bit off here to make enough space for the wheel arch to go under the bed. And now it just slides over there quite nicely. Next time we fit our roof panels, install our lighting and lay the final layer of our flooring. So we'll see you then.